Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh. I still use junk on eBay. Today is a Monday morning and we got orders going out all over the place. We got 50 orders going out on eBay, which is the bulk of the business here. I sell stuff out of the storage unit to support me and my family. This is our full kind of time income here, but we also had a few sales on some other platforms. We had two sales on Bakari. Recently started cross-listing there using Vendu. Been very happy with that. Also one sale on Poshmark, which was not a cross-list sale. It was something I listed there. I listed it there and Macari. I guess I did use Vendu for that. I, I listed it straight into Vendu and then used it to put it on Poshmark and Macari. But something you can't sell on eBay because of a Vero the Vero program. I'll get to that here in a minute. We also had a sell on Truegether, which was absolutely great. I sold something on Facebook Marketplace where they picked it up over the weekend. We got sales there. And like always, we had some Amazon FBA sales. I don't talk about those in this video, but we sold, we sold stuff everywhere. eBay, Macari, Poshmark. Facebook, Truegether, Amazon. I'm out of fingers there. Look at that, six platforms. So great weekend of sales. Sales all over the place. Been very, very happy with Macari lately, how that is going. Looking to cross list a lot more stuff over there going into the future. But anyways, you know what? Let's just jump into it and I'll show you guys what we've sold over the weekend. All right, like usual, we're gonna start down here on the floor. First things up is that item that I had I listed in Vindu and then used Vindu to send it to both Poshmark and Macari. If you want to check out Vindu, the link down below. I think it's like 25% off your first month if you want to check that out. Been very happy with it. But this is a Insanity. This is a Beachbody product DVD set. I actually have two of these listed right now. Sold this for $15 plus shipping over on Poshmark. So first media sell on Poshmark, I believe. So I'm happy to see that. Actually, maybe the second Maybe second media sell, but we sell a lot of media here, so glad to see that. Better Homes and Gardens Handyman book. We sold that on eBay, and then this was one of the Macari sales. I tried to run auctions on this, like, I think like four times on eBay, where I, start, where I started it at like $15 plus shipping. Finally gave up and just, I can't remember what I listed it for, but I'll put it up on the screen, so you'll see what it sold for, but... Finally, just listed as buy it now. I got tired of trying to run an auction on it. It's just a large lot of Barbies. There's a case with a ton of clothes in it, and then all those Barbies. I don't know why it didn't sell on auction, even though I ran it a few times. Maybe it's not worth what I thought it was. We got some clothes up here. We got one. This is like vintage Oklahoma Sooners. I think child's sweatshirt, maybe? Up on the screen. A pair of Tulsa Union vintage cheerleading shorts and... I don't know. You'll see pop on the screen. Those are the clothing cells. Do have some books going out. This is a book lot set. This is by E.E. E. Smith. I got this in a bulk book purchase. Accepted an offer on it this morning. Glad to see it go. Love selling vintage science fiction stuff. It does real good. Do not suggest selling these. This is one I did not know the value of these linen postcards. Actually, this one's not even linen. This is just more of a modern postcard. Got like a dollar fifty plus shipping on it. I photographed a bunch of postcards one time, and then when I went to list them, I realized, oh, these are worth way less than I thought. But I still listed them. Listed that for two. Accepted an offer of a dollar fifty just to get it out of the store. We got some books going out. We got an old hymnal. We've got one Book of Mormon. We got both of those going out to different buyers. We've got Aunt Mamie. I don't know what this is. Looks like an old romance hardcover book. One Blu-ray Disney's Mulan. Anytime I get a DVD lot and they've got inside of them the Disney Insider points, I use those. And then what I basically do is I order a Blu-ray like this or digital movie of some sort that's got the digital movie. Could be Blu-ray, could be a 4K, whatever. Use the digital co code and then sell this as like new. This close that I open it just to get the digital code. And then my kids have the digital movie to watch. I got a DVD to sell, well, in this case a Blu-ray, and make a little bit of money. Not big money, probably not worth my time, except for getting the kids a movie. And they liked Mulan, so that was good. Lullaby Babies, a little CD going out. Oh yeah, this one's taped shut. I taped it shut because I thought I was going to be selling it on Amazon, and then I was gated because it's a Disney, so we sold it over on eBay instead. It's totally fine. Got some other books going out. Life of Public Service by William McKinley. Mayo, the story of my family and my career. This one did really good. I think more like 40, 
It's cool cookbook here. Buffard's Southern Cooking. I believe this was out of Arkansas, if I remember correctly. And then let's go through some sewing machine parts because we got a ton right here. We got this little switch going out. Pretty cool. And then we got motors everywhere. We got this motor. We got that motor. I cannot carry these all. We got this motor and that motor. Is that all the motors? I'm going to put those down and then come back. So yeah, that was four motors. I think there might be a motor in the other unit. One little Volkswagen switch, a little slide plate, and another part. I've lost a whole bag of sewing machine parts to a Singer 457. They're supposed to be in this tote over here, Singer 457, and the whole bag is gone. I had no idea what happened to it. It's a little part out of there, and there should be like 10 more parts in that bag. And I just can't find it. So I guess I need to end all those listings and refund the buyer because I don't know where it could have gone. I pulled everything out of that tote twice. It was this tote right here. This tote used to be overflowing with sewing machine parts, like sticking out to here. And it's gone down quite a bit over the last couple of years. But, and I put more stuff in there back in January when I recondensed stuff. I put some other stuff in there. But it's just gone. The whole bag is gone. I've looked in the totes around it no idea what could have happened to it so i guess i'm going to end those other listings and reach out to the buyer and refund them unfortunately so that was unfortunate I spent a lot of time looking for that today I wasted some time but that bag's just gone anyways back to the sales psychology of jesus and mental health do you guys ever lose stuff or is that just me i don't know we've lost the sewing machine part now the iguanas plastic silver nine volt heart sold this on true gather and we've got a little classical piece here. We got Claudio Aurora playing Beethoven. One sewing machine part, this one had been returned before. It was in my stack of returned sewing machine parts. And then we also have a foot pedal to a brother machine and one more little Kenmore extension storage tray thing. Oh, let's see, what do we got back here? Zen in the Art of Archery, cool paperback. We live in the city. This kid's book. I'll put it up on the screen. Look at that price. I can't even believe it. I don't remember what it is, but it's just ridiculous. Been selling a couple of good children's books lately enough that I pulled some out of the pile that I was going to send to the bookstore that I didn't look up. And I'm going to look them up. Anyways, walk down here. Trip the light switcher, light sensor. And let's walk back. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe if you're liking this type of stuff. But. We had a vinyl record sale, the Blackwood Brothers. Vinyl records, believe it or not, is my top five category of the year. Not selling a lot right now because we're not listing a lot of them, but it's still been a very good category for us this year. Magazine, this is Sooners Illustrated, All's Well in the Land of Boz. Hmm. Interesting, 1986. We have early Texas homes. We've got a sketchbook, some sort of like drawing anime type stuff, and that is it for this unit. Let's walk down to the other unit. After I get all this stuff put away into my IKEA bag, then I'll show you guys what's sold down there. All right, so we're down to the other unit. I want to talk about my plan for the week, and kind of been struggling as I've been trying to think through this this weekend of what I want to work on this week. Um, I have a good sourcing trip opportunity coming up here in a couple of weeks, and I really want to try to get almost all my unlisted process through and done by then try to have as much of a blank slate as possible before then so some things to know what do i have left on hand currently have like 11 or 12 sewing machines on hand which if i go at the current pace i've been going i can have those done in time i also have probably six oh let's say five totes of media not necessarily media, music, that is for bulk lots. We're talking bulk CD lots, bulk record lots, bulk also DVD lots, Blu-rays, cassettes, that type of thing that I could sort through and make lots out of. I do have some space for that sort of stuff. I actually have these shelves cleared off. Look at all that space, boom, boom. This is where I originally had the CD container. If we moved them over here, though, over there the other day, I've got all this space here. I've also got another shelf I can add in right here, which I think I'm going to do. So I could do that and put that all here. 
I also have one tote that is full of CDs and DVDs that need resurfaced. I need to run them through my resurfacer. I could spend the week working on that and listing those. And then I have one tote of car parts, mostly Harley parts, but a few random car parts in there as well. Really need to get that listed. And then two totes of miscellaneous. Besides that, the only other thing I have is a few random totes of books that I need to see if they're good on eBay or not. That sounds like a lot, but honestly, that's not a lot of stuff. That, that's a couple of weeks worth of work, but I don't know what to work on for. Oh, one more thing. I have one massive tote, one of the big giant totes, full of like DVD, VCR combos, AV receivers, video game consoles, electronics that need testing. So kind of thinking it through here, what are all we've got? I think I'm going to start with that tote of electronics that needs testing. Get through that. I do have a good spot in the other storage unit to put those after I list them. And it would be nice to just have that blank slate. I was thinking about saving the video games until Christmas and listing them then, but it might be good just to do that all now. So I think we'll do that. So we're going to start with that. We'll start with that today. After that, probably need to do the car parts. Get done with those, finish those up. Those just go in totes, and I do have space for two totes up there. After we finish that, then <sighs> probably gonna work on that bulk media. Sewing machines are probably just gonna go to the side for now because they would take up a lot of time if I tried to finish those up this week. Maybe I'll work on those next week, but that's the plan for now. Electronics, number one priority. Number two priority is going to be. What did I tell you guys? Oh yeah, car parts, Harley parts. Get that stuff listed. That stuff's selling great. It's a good time of year for that. Number three, bulk media. Sure, why not? Let's do that. Especially the music, DVDs, that type of thing. Yeah, that's the plan. And you know, if we finish all that and we get, still got some time this week, throw in some sewing machines, and work my way through this. That's the plan for the week. That took me three and a half minutes of rambling, but hopefully you guys enjoyed that thought process. Big part of my thought process right now is unfortunately what do i have space for in my unit i do not have really space for the book boxes they are pretty much everywhere around me so probably setting books to the side at least for a week or two all right you guys want to see what's sold i'll show you guys what else what's sold all right so i know this is what a lot of you guys are here for the what's sold so we are going to show you this is a pair of stetson women's jean shorts stetsons are known for their hats not their jeans but they can still sell eventually we do have a one Ford part, one Chevy Chevy part. Pretty cool. Both those going out. Got this little Mofer Tulsa 2003. I think this is like maybe a Shriners type thing or some other organization. I don't know. Little pin, lapel pin, so good. Got a Greg Brown CD and a Charlie Pool CD. So yeah, I really should get those other CDs resurfaced and finished up, but. Let's go wait at least a week. Two pieces of fabric going out. I believe this is a repeat buyer. I'm glad to see them. Good pieces of fabric there. Sold those. Another sewing machine motor, believe it or not. I think that makes five this week. The, or excuse me, just over the weekend. One little sewing machine part here. One Xbox 360 game. A little antiquarian book here. We got Simon called Peter by Robert Keeble. Here's a polo hat. We sold this on Macari. Good to see another Macari sell. These have been listed forever. I don't know why they were not selling. I believe they are a size like 12. Decent condition. Maybe it's just because of like that wear there. I don't know, but they really are in decent shape. They're not grungy or anything. Finally accepted an offer of $8.35 plus shipping on those. Don't know why it took, I don't know. Took forever, so I'm glad to see him got it. One pair of new with tags, Faded Glories. Got $9 for these. Don't sell very many Faded Glories, but new with tag jeans, sure, why not? Two little Harley, like, exhaust gaskets or something here. They're both in packs of two. This is pretty cool. It's a little board game made by Scythe, I believe you pronounce it. A little black, black Sambo. Did have some reservations on listing this on eBay is where they could pull it down because it had a little black boy in it, but it did just fine. They got $28 for this or something. And last but not least is a type of media you do not see very often. This is a 
CED. It is kind of like a laser disc. That sort of technology from that era. We got Chuck Norris Code of Silence. So yeah, pretty cool to see that. So not something you see very often, not something that has a lot of value, but cool little piece of media history to save there. So yeah, that's everything we've got going out today. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.